everybody, Jim Anthony here, and this is a very special CBT micro nugget on Salesforce activity reporting. And I have a very special guest. It's Mike Gerholt of Button Click Admin fame, and he is genuinely an MVP among MVPs in the Salesforce world. We're going to show you how to pull it all together, organize your sales force a little bit better, and give management the information they need to achieve success. We're gonna show you how to do it right here, right now. So let's set the table for this video by taking a look at Mike's blog article on activity reporting. He wrote this in February of 2013, and the first thing he does is just use an analogy of a garden to talk about all the customer records that are in your CRM setup and that all of those activities that we have to associate um, with different calls and emails and tasks and all these things that are going on in Salesforce can grow like weeds and if they're not managed well they can become overgrown within your records and become a pretty big mess and so the question is how do we effectively communicate that information to management if it's spread out all over Salesforce, you know, some of it, some of the information's, you know, on account records, some of it's on contact records, some might be in a task, some might be an event, you know, we've got to take all that and create a way to pull it all together and be able to report it to management, you know, because management's going to get frustrated when they try to go into Salesforce and figure out what's going on. So what happens is they end up picking up the phone and they call the rep, which really uh, then begs the question, why do we have a CRM system in the first place? So let's define the problem a little more clearly here. Mike had a meeting with management and what he found out was that the key thing that was getting lost was the meeting notes, you know, the key interactions and the information from those customer meetings. There was no real solid way to get that information in front of management when they wanted it. Salespeople were putting information into Salesforce, you know, they were logging their activities, but as mentioned earlier, you know, they, they might put it in tasks, they might put it in events or in, in different places. So the issue was that varied from rep to rep. And we need to create some consistency here so we can communicate better to management. So how do we resolve this issue? Well, get ready because you're about to receive an object lesson in one of my favorite words, and that word is elegant which to me means simple, clean, clear, crisp solutions. I love it. What Mike did was he created just one new object in Salesforce called meeting notes. And whenever reps had discussions with customers, they could just use that object to capture the information from those meetings. You're still going to use tasks and events for activities and other things, but those meeting notes, the good critical information, is all going to be in one place. So let me show you how Mike set that up. So let's jump over here to Mike's blog, Button Click Admin, and I've, I've come to the, uh, to the article here, and let's scroll down to his instructions. He basically did two things. All, all it takes is two steps, basically, and you can make this happen. Number one, we're going to build a custom object, and number two, we're just going to add a few fields. So the custom object is going to be called Meeting Notes, and then these are the fields Mike created. One for the subject, which is a text field, and then an owner field, which is a lookup to the user for that, you know, Salesforce account. And then date and time of meeting, key questions and issues. So that's a date and time field. That's a long text area field. A pick list field for the main topics. And then this is a very special field, meeting note URL. He puts the link of that meeting note right there in the meeting note. So when you generate a report and send it to management, if management wants to click on the note and read the notes, you just click on the link. And then we have an overview, which is a rich, rich text area. Point of contact, that's a lookup field to the contact. And then related to account, that's a lookup field related to the account we're talking about. So I'll show you how to make a few of these. I'm not going to do all of them on the video. And then uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the final product. So let's start by making the object, the meeting note object. We're going to come up here to set up. And then we'll come over here to create, come down to create objects, and then new custom object. We'll just call it meeting note. I guess they want a single and a plural version of that. And for the description, I'm just going to say key interactions with the customer. Then we'll come on down here. I'm going to allow some of these optional features. Um, do whatever makes sense for you and your organization there. And then we'll click on save. 
and now it's going to ask me for a tab style so I'm going to click on that I'm gonna come down here and I am going to grab the coffee cup there and I'm going to click on next I'm going to leave, leave all that on click next and click save and now we have a meeting notes object there it is custom object it says meeting notes right there and then uh, we now have a meeting notes tab that has shown up on the top of the screen there so now that the object is made let's go in and make a few of those fields to do that we're gonna come down to the custom fields and relationships area click on new and the first one's just gonna be a text field we're gonna do that subject so we'll click text go to next we're gonna call it subject I'll give it a 255 character length and for a description what was the meeting about and then we'll scroll down here and click next I'm gonna leave that visible click next and assign it to the meeting notes layout and click Save so now we have a, a good subject field on this uh, meeting notes object I'm gonna jump down here to main topics it's gonna be a pick list field and it's basically what was the meeting about now the subject also is what the meetings about let's say you put budget in there but the topics that you discuss could include budget you know it could include key performance indicators or uh, you know influence or uh, account mapping you know the politics of the account that kind of thing could be event triggers key things going on in the company so we'll just put a few of these options it's going to be a multi-select pick list because even though you may go in to talk about the budget you may talk about a few really important things there so let's go set that one up so let's come back here to the custom object meeting notes and we're going to scroll down come back to the custom fields and relationships click new and this one's going to be that pick list the multi select pick list next main topics and then here's where we're going to enter the values of the pick list so each value goes on a separate line down here so I'm gonna put those in so now we have a few options to choose from on main topics another description and then come to next we'll leave that visible to everybody assign it to this page layout click Save and now we have the subject and main topics now let's come to the meeting note URL as mentioned earlier this is gonna allow anybody who gets a report on these meeting notes to actually click a link and go to the actual meeting note so let's show you how to set that up back to custom fields click on new now this one's gonna be a formula field next meeting note URL and we'll just return a text type and then the formula basically just grab the URL up here copy it put a quote in there then paste that URL get rid of the last part after dot com put a quote there and then add plus ID and we should have a good formula there check syntax good to go let's click next now I'm not gonna hide it here just for say, sake of brevity brevity here <laughs> so we'll leave it in there sign it to the layout and click Save so I went back in and I created some of these other fields so we have the key questions field which is long text and you, you've seen the main topics URL the overview that's rich text area and the point of contact and related to account those are lookups so they will connect back to the contact or the account that you're working with so now let's go up and look at a note let's create one and see what it looks like come up here and click on the meeting notes tab we'll click new put the ABC labs meeting in there the subject will say it was the budget and we talked about a few th a couple things budget and let's say KPIs some of the key questions that's a text field so you can type in whatever you want there and then you would come down here and put the actual meeting notes you know more of the long form you know what what went on in the meeting you know the key things that uh, were discussed there and then here are the lookup fields the point of contact you would pick the contact for ABC labs that you were working with the account hit the uh, magnifying glass 
attach it to that account and then click save. So now you have a meeting note, you know, an actual new record here, ABC Labs meeting. And here are all the fields that we made, you know, the subject, the main topics, the URL, it's right there. Now if you hide it on, the re on this page, you won't see it there, but you can put it in reports and uh, people can click on it. So let's, let's do that very quickly as the last thing I'll show you, when you create a report, you'll see where that link shows up. We'll create a new report. I'm going to call it uh, Meeting Notes History Report. And uh, we'll just click on Create over here. And then make sure we have the, uh, the Meeting Notes URL in this report. Probably a few things we don't need we can get rid of. You know, and you could put some of these other things like, uh, I don't know, main topics. If you wanted to, you could put that in the report. Subject, what was supposed to be discussed and what actually got discussed. You know, pick some of these fields, put it in your report, run the report. And then whenever anybody comes in and looks at this report and they get a list of different meeting notes and meetings, they can just come over here, click on the link, and it takes them right back to the note. And that's how you do it. And that's going to do it for today for Mike Gerholt and Button Click Admin. I'm Jim Anthony with CBT Nuggets. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.